The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs received a donation of much-needed equipment towards the improvement of the island's health care. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George says the ministry runs programs which focus on providing medical aid to citizens, some of which are at no cost to the individual. As a result, Dr. Bellman notes that there is a continuous need to replenish supplies. Through our medical assistance program, we continuously receive requests from various communities for persons who, through disabilities, sometimes our patients who've had amputations, sometimes from various injuries where those are required. And there are times when we run out, there are times when we don't have all of the sizes. I was very pleased to see the pediatric size as well um, as part of the donation. Permanent Secretary Jenny Daniel highlighted the importance of partnership to the Ministry of Health. Daniel says the intervention of local, regional, and international partners provide the ministry with more opportunities to look after the vulnerable and increase access to well-needed services. So yet again, one of our partners has come forward and provided a huge support, huge amount of support to us in the delivery of healthcare services through the donation of the equipment that we are here to witness today. And I wish to thank you and commend your huge effort based on, on our past experiences with you going through the COVID-19 um, pandemic period where we receive a huge amount of support. And we have continued to receive support both in terms of donations and also in terms of consultancy services and other support services that you have provided to us. The donation included wheelchairs of various sizes, canes, walkers, and commodes. Representative for the Republic of China, Taiwan, His Excellency Peter Chen Hien Shan, indicated that being able to witness the improvements made to St. Lucian citizens brings him much pleasure. The Taiwan ambassador further stated that they are continuously looking for opportunities to provide assistance where necessary. We also notice there is still demand that needs to be addressed. Therefore, after discussing with Honorable Minister Jean-Baptiste and Honorable Minister Joaquin Henry uh, of uh, Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment. Together with the support of Cao Zongzi Foundation and Taiwan government's sponsorship of shipping feed, today we are delighted to see the second donation has come to reality. And I believe the impact of this donation is not only an expression of our shared humanity and compassion but also, once again, enhance the people-to-people -people connectivity between Taiwan and St. Lucia. Health Minister Moses Jabatis says the donation also demonstrates Taiwan's unwavering support towards improving access to better health care in St. Lucia. Your benevolent gesture underscores the enduring strength of the friendship between our two nations. These ambulation devices are not just tools of mobility, they significantly enhance the independence for those in need. They also go beyond physical assistance. They will play a pivotal role in elevating the overall quality of life for recipients. The Ministry of Health is committed to ensuring the judicious distribution of these resources, Ambassador, ensuring the rich individuals who stand to benefit the most. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to make strides toward the improvement and delivery of health services and care to the people of St. Lucia. Through the implementation of projects such as universal health care and performance-based financing, a number of additional services have been made available at no cost to the populace. Jade Brown reporting for the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs.